Hello and welcome everyone. Today's mission will bring me back to the northeastern corner of the reserve. Join me in the search for some Roosevelt elk. Well, this mission feels a little familiar. I have to travel to Calburn Canyon and harvest two Roosevelt elk down from a hunting stand. There are three hunting stands in the area, so I plan to check each one to see what they might have to offer. I used one for the Emily Hart elk mission, so there's one already built. I have a feed zone there for elk, but otherwise there's no zones around any of the stands so far, so I plan to check around the area first. As I discovered in the Emily Hart elk mission, they have a great sense of smell. Since I'll be restricted to being in a stand, I'll make sure to bring my scent eliminator in case I get a bad wind. I'll also plan to bring along the recently purchased elk collar to bring them in if I need to. When the time comes, I'd like to try using a compound bow. I'll pair the Bear Claw Light 60 pound bow with the 600 grain broadhead arrows to make the kill. Combined with the elk collar, I think I can bring them in close enough to get a decent shot. When I decided to tackle the mission, I was curious to see if the tripod stand would work since it would provide the greatest flexibility. I traveled up and down the river to see what I might stir up. In the process, I made a very nice find, but that's a whole other video. I will say though that I discovered that the tripod stand will not work to complete this mission. So I started scouting the in-game stands for zones. I also set up tents to make checking them a little easier. I checked each one an hour after the beginning of their feed and rest times to see if elk were around the stands. Day and night I'd hike over to each one in search of elk. I already knew I had some in a feed zone from the other mission. It only had two cows in it, so I kept it in mind, but was hoping to find a bull. Sadly, the only other zone I found was the rest zone for the two cows in the same stand. Left with no other choices, I devised a plan to get them. I grabbed my bow and fast traveled into the tent. It was almost 2300, so they should be in their zone, but time was running short. I checked around as soon as I hopped into the stand and found them. A couple bugles caught their attention. A good hit. Let's see about the other. I held the shot just a hair too high and hit the tree. She spooked off into the woods, so I tried calling her back in. Sadly, she never returned to the zone and I ran out of time. So I hopped down to claim the harvest. She's a level one orange female. No score for her, but since I got her out of a tree stand in Calburn Canyon, she'll count for the objective. The shot was a little higher than I'd thought, hitting her through the skull and into her pelvis. Guess I'll hold the shot a little lower next time. A few days later, I returned. I had moved the tent to use for another mission, so I had to hike in from the outpost. I kept my approach the same, so I wouldn't spook the cow out of her zone before I got to the stand. Once I got there, I looked around and sure enough, she was there. Time to call her in. Ah! 
That one connected well. She is another level one cow, so no score for her either. I got her on the lung, liver, and stomach at 24 meters. With two elk from a hunting stand in the bank, I completed the objective. Well, with no other choices to shoot at, I did the best I could with what I had to work with. If this video was helpful or you learned something along the way, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be adding more of these guides as I go along with my progression, so be sure to check in for more Call of the Wild content. Thanks for watching.